We are now 10 days away from the election day, and whoever wins the presidency will have to navigate several financial issues. That includes the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which is set to expire at the end of the next year, unless extended by Congress. An estimated 60% of taxpayers could see their tax bill rise. And here to explain more is local financial professional Philip Shaw from Goldstone Financial Group. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me, Mark. Absolutely. So tell us about this act, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act came around in 2017 and started in 2018 affecting our taxes. Now this has what's called a sunset provision on it. Mm -hmm. So unless something changes, unless Congress acts, this ends at the end of next year. So going back into 2026, a lot of Americans are going to start seeing their taxes increase. Mm -hmm. The tax law affected everything from our uh, tax rates, it affected child tax deductions, it affected uh, like a homeowner like yourself, mm -hmm. it affected how much we can deduct in things like property taxes. It affected an awful lot of our of our tax situation. So what will happen if it expires then? The, those taxes would go up. So if the taxes expire, so talking two years from now, for most Americans, taxes start going up. So a uh, couple earning $250,000 net prior to the tax law had a 33% top tax rate. Mm -hmm. Right now that's a 25, so they're going back up 8%. For somebody earning just $39,000, they had a top tax rate of 25% before, 12% today. So when they go back to that, it's gonna be a pretty significant adjustment. So what, where did the presidential candidates stand on this issue? So the candidates, really on a lot of tax issues, you know, the, the Kamala Harris campaign is looking for higher corporate tax rates, the Trump campaign is looking for lower. Both of them agree on a couple of issues. Both of them think that we should have uh, no taxes on tips, which I think would be a great thing. I think these are some of the hardest working people and really the, the revenue the, the federal government brings in from it is minimal compared mm -hmm. to the huge impact that could be Absolutely. for somebody that is earning tips day to day. Um, things like whether we're taxing Social Security or not, that's another hot button issue. So whether or not we're taxing retirees on Social Security, the Trump campaign thinks we should not. Haven't heard anything necessarily from, from the other side, but either way, taxes are going to have to change. Mm -hmm. We only have two years under the current laws and we'll see where they go from here. And I know child tax credits are, are an important issue as well in this. Child tax credits are a big deal for most Americans. So right now the child tax credit's $2,000 per child. In two years, that goes back to $1,000 per child. And that's the thing that a lot of families are budgeting around. So they're budgeting around this expected tax credit. And when that goes away, that could hit a lot of families pretty hard. Yeah, a lot to watch, obviously, in the next, really, just a couple of days here. So uh, thank you so much for coming in to talk about it. We appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely.